In this video, I show you step by step how to make a custom WooCommerce product page with Elementor Pro and the dynamic plugin for Elementor to build up this beautiful page. It has an advanced product description section allowing the user to browse without scrolling, contains product variables, displaying below product upsells in a dual carousel mode. If this is interesting, keep watching. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Natalie from Sites with Natalie. If you want to support the channel, you just need to subscribe or hit the like button. In this channel, I talk about all things related to WordPress websites. Here are the tools I will be using. ACF Pro as we need to use the repeater fill only available in the Pro version. Dynamic Content for Elementor, a powerful add-on that extends the power of Elementor. Elementor Free and Pro versions and WooCommerce, of course. In order to build up a custom page with product variations with Elementor, you need to create a variable product. I will use this red woman bag. Move over to WordPress dashboard, WooCommerce products list. From the product data meta box, select variable product from the product data dropdown. In the attribute section, I had the size attribute before creating variations. For the terms, insert them by selecting from the drop-down list. I insert three values. Below, make sure you tick the Use for Variation box. Save Attributes. The next move is to click on the Variations meta box. Select the Create Variations from All Attributes. You get the message notification from the WooCommerce plugin stating the variations number. Now it's time to add prices and more details, otherwise they will not show in the store. Just click the item and assign your details for each one. If you click on the down arrow to the right, you expand the related fields. The price is the same as the parent item. I also add the stock quantity and the product image so your customers are able to browse it correctly. To close it when finished, just click on top of the ID. I fill in the details in a fast forward mode so you don't waste any unnecessary time. Let's check now how this goes on the front end. Ok, it looks good. This is a default WooCommerce product page. We will be making now your custom single product page templates. Before creating my custom template inside Elementor, I need to create the extra fields with the ACF plugin. From the custom fields menu, select the Add New option. Give it a logical name so you can easily remember later on. Under the location section, make sure you determine where the group field appear on the admin screen. You need to assign it to be shown on your WooCommerce product. Just select it from the drop down list. In the settings section, you can determine more advanced settings. As long as the active field is active, it works fine. Click on the blue button to add a field. Choose your label. I go with characteristics. To automatically assign to the next field, just press the tab key. From the field type, you must define to be a repeater field. Using the repeater field allows you to create a set of subfields sub which can be repeated again and again whilst editing content. Click again on the blue button to start adding the subfields. My characteristic field acts as a parent to my following subfields which can be repeated over and over again. I insert the first label field. Press the Tab key to assign it to the field name. Then in the Choices meta box, I insert each choice on a new line. 
I want to add another subfield. Click again on the blue button. I want to provide as much details as I need in order to persuade the customer. I enter the possible answers in separate lines. The last one is more details about the handbag material. Enter material, press the key tab, find the field type you want to go with. You have a full range of options to choose from from the ACF plugin. It really can help you in creating a custom WooCommerce template for your shop. Then publish. Let's preview what we have just done. Let's open up the product. Here are the ACF X refills with the repeater field. You easily replace to this field just pressing the head row button. From there you easily add your details or personalized information. Inside the meta boxes you can update the variable product information, the more you provide the better. From the Elementor templates menu click on the head new. Select the single product template type and give to your template a name and then click on create template. Close Elementor Library. Inside Elementor Editor, we begin by creating a two equal column section. Click on the plus button. From the bottom left corner, I go ahead and I click on the gear icon. Under the preview settings, you determine how to preview your changes. In this box, enter the product name and click on Apply and Preview. From the left column, I want to add the product image. I drag in the widget and I drop it. It's so easy to do it without writing any line of code. For the right hand side, I add in the product title widget. Click on the rank icon to enter the product name you want to preview. Once you start typing, Elementor immediately pulls in from your WordPress database. The next widget is the next widget is the product price from Elementor. Just select it and drag and drop into the editor canvas. Now I want to import the ACF extra fields we have created. To achieve this, we use a dynamic widget that comes from this powerful add-on. I highly recommend you use this if you want to build up more advanced websites. Doing a search for the ACF repeater, you easily recognize the dynamic red logo. Drag and drop it inside the inner section. In the first box, insert the ACF repeater field you want to pull in. For me, I enter characteristics. Select it. The second box, you are saying to find it from the current post data or from any other post type. To add the subfields, just click on the head item button down below. Then enter the repeater subfield. Select it to, to head item. As you can view, it has been pulled into your right column. Click now on the skin section. Dynamic plugin called call these skins. They are different modes the data can be displayed. Currently, we can display it in a grid, mansory, carved cell, table, accordion, which is the one I go with. To add the heading text, just highlight the text, delete it and write down your heading text. The row ID has been replaced with your heading. You have options to add icons to choosing the HTML tag. As I want to keep this tutorial short, I don't go over those options. For now, I define not to use icons. I also define H5 HTML tag. It's looking good, as you are noticing. From the Style tab, I quickly add a colorful border with one pixel width. To add another ACF repeater subfield, I like to use the Duplicate option. Click on Knits icon. Now you just need to change the subfield, delete it by closing, then insert your new subfield, searching from the data database. Select it to insert it. Alternatively, you can select it by based on the ACF type. Just select the one you have used to create your ACF repeater. In the, in the skin section, I also change the heading text. I light it, delete it and enter your heading text. I duplicate once more since I have one extra subfield. Change the subfield to material. Under the skin, I change the heading text as well 
And so my user is convinced about this product. Now it's time to put in the product variations data. To achieve that, it's quite easy. Select from the Elementor panel the Add the Head to Card widget. Under the layout, you find the available options to insert the product variations. From the right hand side, you can view it. Checking now how this goes. So, this is the right place to begin the layout for the bottom, the quantity, and the product variations. Let's proceed now. I had in another inner Elementor section. I want to pull in more details. I drag the Elementor product stock widget and the product meta widgets. You can adjust the column's width. However, I don't like the way it is, so I do a right click and press the delete button. Click on the plus icon, we will be using the powerful Elementor dynamic text to achieve the same result. Insert the text widget. Select the dynamic text icon. You get this wide range of options you can choose to build up dynamically your product page template. For this demo, and as I said before, I want to pull in the product categories. The last part now of this template is to show you how to use the dual Carousel feature from the dynamic plugin for Elementor to showcase your feature products. First things first, I added H2 heading. I added a new section. I do a quick search for product upsells. Under the skin is where you can choose this design layout. A dual carousel, in case you are not aware, lets you display posts in a dual carousel display. In this type of carousel, you can find the carousel below the main. There are settings to adjust the item's style. Currently, there are nine layouts. You find settings to adjust the carousel, the over effects in case you want to use, query and for no results behavior. You personalize your store so you can capture the customer's attention in increasing conversions. Let's proceed now. I published the template under the template display conditions. I set it to products, save and close. I really hope you find this tutorial useful to you. If so, please subscribe to the channel so that I feel myself motivated to create more free content like this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.